It's the Eastern Conference on display featuring the Boston Celtics. Home court advantage goes to the Cavaliers playing here in Quicken Loans Arena. Welcome to what should be a great Saturday night for the NBA. I'm Kevin Harlan. We've got Steve Smith and Greg. And let's go straight over to David. Well, LeBron James, of course, is one of the greatest players to ever play the game, but he remains one of the most... Great, great stuff, D.A., thanks. And both of these sides, Steve, with some fantastic forwards on the Ladies roster. I imagine Ladies. we'll be seeing them go right at each other in this one. You know, the forward position is interesting because you got to do a little banging. you got to defend. You gotta score. I know all positions you, you do that. Play out a little bit on the board. Yeah, huh? you gotta switch. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's one of those positions you do a lot, but it ultimately comes down to who can control the paint with their physicality. Now a chance, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. The starting five on the floor. On the floor for Boston. Thomas is out there with Brown, and it's Hayward. Then there's Big Dog, and it's Horford in at the five down low. As good as LeBron is at drawing fouls, still only a career 75% free throw shooter. Boy, what if he could raise that average. Here's Rose. Here's Thompson. And it's sent back by Horford. Outside Thomas. Dog. Brown wide open. He fires. And he's good on the three ball. Brown's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Rose attacking and finished off by Rose. And defensively, you've got to play Rose for the drive. You let him get to the rim, and he'll throw it down on your head. Thomas, it's a wide open look. Again, Thomas missing. Cavaliers have gone two of five here, making 40% so far to start out the game. Here's James. Gets some rim on the way in, and the bucket's good. James has got five. I tell you what, guys, it's going to be a tough day on this defense if he's got the A game rolling tonight. He certainly has it early on. He came out with some energy tonight. Defensively, that possession better not start a trend because they just handed him two points. Just talk that one up to a little miscommunication. I'm sure they'll get on the same page. Boston's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. And Kyle Korver picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. You know what? Tried to step in and cut him off, but just didn't get there quick enough. Brown outside. Thompson with the rebound. That, that was a half-hearted hit. And he was just going through the motions on that possession and now ends up crossing. Rose, no good. For Boston, they've gone 50% from the field, hitting three of six since the opening tip. Thomas kicks to Brown. And so he draws the foul on the shot, a trip to the line to shoot two. And in a draft class full of great wing players, it is easy to sleep on Jalen Brown. But, but he can become a great player. Has everything you want from a wing in terms of skill set and that physicality. He could have a ceiling just as high as anybody else in this draft. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Smith has checked in. And another miss by Cleveland. On defense, Cleveland trailing by two. Brown dishes to Thomas. The shot will not fall. Some solid defense from Rose. And you look at Jalen Brown. He can go at the rim, pull up the shoot, plays good D. If his jumper gets a little more consistent, he can be scary. Yeah, that is what this team was hoping for when they drafted him. Uh, just looking at the areas that he needs to work on, they are all, I think, correctable things. He's going to put up a lot of highlights over the course of his career. Horford. An easy layup after coming off the pick. And the skills of Brown, not just a super athlete, but a tremendous floor general as well. Pass to LeBron, and stolen by Hayward. Here's Brown. A shot, no good. Cavaliers go the other way with him. Smith kicks to Rose. From 11 feet away, and the jumper is on the mark. We're approaching about three and a half minutes played in the first quarter. To the paint. Here's
Rivers, big dog, up again. It's rebounded by Cleveland. The drive by LeBron. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. The aggressive mindset, LeBron putting it on the deck and drawing contact. He's gone one of one in the game so far from the line. And both free throws good for LeBron. LeBron James, he's the elder statesman on this team right now. He's done a nice job of taking some of the younger guys and showing them the way. And stolen by Long. You know what? That passing lane wasn't open for Long. He closed it down in a heartbeat there to get the seat. And he tries off the glass, but it's no good. And Steve LeBron at times last season hinted that he may be missing some of his more experienced teammates, whether in Miami or at the U.S. national team, guys who are more his peers. I think for him is he sets high standards. And at the end of the day, he walks the walk on the court, one of the greatest players ever. If you're his teammate, you've got to fall in line. That pass was a work of art right there. And now the first time out called here for Boston. Cannot be happy with how things have gone during this run. I think it's a good decision to take a break. He just needs to slow the pace of this game and get his players under control here. Thomas against Rose. With the shot, Thomas gets the bucket. Cleveland's gone 0-3 from three-point land. Nothing yet going outside. Rose attacking the putback. It's hauled in by Thomas. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. And here's the fast break. Rose leading the way. There isn't a shot that LeBron can't hit. He works as hard as anyone to develop his game. Now here's Thomas. To the middle. Here's Hayward. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance to make it three. It's impossible to stop him. You can only hope to contain him. A different look now for Cleveland. Channing Fries checked in for Tristan Thompson. Jefferson comes in for Kevin Love. And it's Felder in for Derrick Rose. So Boston going with almost an entire new group. The quickies checked in for Horford. Jay Crowder comes in for Big Dog. Marcus Marks checked in for Brown. And Terry Rozier subbed in for Isaiah Thomas. One on one here. LeBron with it. Now defended by Hayward. And once LeBron gets the ball in the painted it. area, the force he plays with is hard not to foul him. Three trips to the line so far for him in this one. The one thing about LeBron James, he's had a huge impact on the basketball court, but also off the court. Always taking a stand on a lot of social issues. Celtics making a switch here. Morris has checked in. And back and forth we go. That bucket gives us another lead change. These are the type of games you love. You can't predict. The only thing you know is it's going to be a close one. There's the pick. Outside Crowder and stolen by Fry. Here's Jefferson. Good work defensively by Crowder. Boston's gone two or four from beyond the arc to start the game. Wide open, he fires. And again, Boston with the triple. The defense has to stay on their toes on him. They have to be active guarding the perimeter, or they will continue to get burned. Here's LeBron, rejected by Crowder. Rozier, the pass to Smart. A minute 42 left to play in the first quarter. The leaner inside. Here's the quick. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. Yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. The Celtics shooting their fourth and fifth shots at the foul line in the game. And good on the second, so he makes them both. And the Cavs, obviously, one of the most talented teams in the NBA. It's taken time for them to learn how to play together, though. Yeah, you talk about having a big three and guys have never been around each other. And some young guys when you start talking about Kevin Love and Kyrie Irving. Synergy, chemistry, that's all they needed. They have it now. The Celtics shooting their sixth attempt at the charity stripe in the game. 
And, and when you got a team percentage of about 81%, you're going to be one of the elites in this league. Kevin Love's checked in for Cleveland. Yeah, and early on doing a really nice job at the free throw line. And it's James missing. Celtics leading by eight. Out left of the wing. 109 left in the first. Rozier kicks to Smart. Shot clock at six. And that basket pushes the lead to double digits. Smart's got eight points. Oh, great ball movement there. Cleveland's gone 0-3 from three-point land. Nothing yet going outside. Here's LeBron. It's going by Morris. Here's Rozier. Off target from outside. The Cavs trail by 10. Outside Jefferson. James outside. Pass to Felder. Let's it go from deep. Yes! It's James picking up the assist. Felder's got himself on the board with three there. One of the most unselfish stars in the league. LeBron making the extra pass. One second separate in the shot clock in game clock. And here we go. And LeBron throws it down hard. And that's the classic one-two punch right there. I mean, nice steal. And then how about the elevation, Kevin, on the finish? And great. Nothing spurs some quick offense like a great play defensively. When your defense translates into offense, it's a beautiful thing. That key is slam cam replay really gave you a good look at the action. Really bad mental lapse by the defense, yet he did not make them pay, surprisingly. And they're scoring pretty well as we conclude the first quarter. Celtics lead by five. After this break, we'll be back with the start of the second quarter on 2K Sports. chance to hear from LeBron James as he talked about the challenge of remaining calm and collected throughout the ups and downs of the NBA season. 